Hello, Americans. Another friend subscribes around the world. Back again, man. So this morning, man, it's about a uh, six fifteen or something. That that uh, screen looks a lot brighter than it actually is out here. It's kind of funny. Today, not really sure what's on the agenda. <clears throat> agenda for the day. I'm getting ready to go in and get myself some more coffee. Got a little fire going, man. And nothing like starting the day out around the fire. Let's see. Uh, let's see what we come up with today. Can't think of any better way to start the morning. A little council fire. Figure out what your plan for the day is, man. And just ponder things. Lots to ponder in this crazy world. So, ah, still just sitting here. Oh, Lord. So this morning, I think about, man, this, uh, oh. Think on this, following this, uh, Thomas, now we'll give out his last name, sent me this video, I think it was last week. And I'd watched it, and it's on, uh, pretty much on the invasion of Idaho is what it is. Um, we'll talk about it more. I'm going to go ahead and show this, this clip. You know, man, all this, you can hear all the hoorah. They haven't started up the, the catch yet, but they'll be going here pretty soon. But they're, uh... They're invading, man. They're, man, it's getting closer and closer. Building a new house. Just, uh, I don't know, man. Pretty dang close to me. And it's, uh, you know, even in my area, man, in all areas. And I think this dude that he talks to is up in uh, northern Idaho, which Uncle Earl was just here, you know, and he's from... He's from northern Idaho, up Spirit Lake area, and uh, it's ruined, man. It is northern Idaho, everybody going to northern Idaho, all the, you know, man, that's like the big homesteading place to go is northern Idaho. Northern Idaho ain't the northern Idaho that I knew. It's, uh, last time I was up there, I was like, holy crap, man. So let's play this. All right, I need to just jump in here and the clip I'd actually added this clip this video right here is where I put it and um, YouTube dinged it and wouldn't let me list it with that video so I'm going to put the video link to that video that I'm talking about on here and then we'll just go with it that way I guess man Copy, copyright infringement, man. Now, back to your regular scheduled program. Well, from a, uh, you know, my, my family was in this area way, way, way before, uh, before Idaho was ever Idaho. And then I completely, uh, Completely understand, you know, these folks, man, nothing against these, these folks that are, move, or that are moving here, but uh, <laughs> as much as they say it, and as much as uh, 
I'm speechless. <laughs> as much as they say, oh, don't, don't want to like that. You don't know how many times that I've been somewhere and I hear, oh, that's not the way it was in Washington. Or that's not the way it was in California. Well, you ain't in Washington, California, Oregon, Texas, Florida, <laughs> Louisiana. <laughs> you ain't, you in Idaho. And, uh, <sighs> no, man, dude, I totally, 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 totally get. I mean, dude, I love my, man, anybody that knows me, you know, I love, I love my Idaho. But, uh, I'm just watching it, uh, deteriorate, man. It's getting, uh, overpopulated, man, completely compared to what I grew up with, you know, and you can say, oh, you're just a whiner, blah, 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 I'm sure there'll be comments on here, and if you got any bad comments, I'm just giving an opinion, man, from an Idaho boy, and if you got any bad comments or anything like that, you might as well just keep them to yourself, because I'll just block and delete you, so, I'm just, I'm just saying my point, man, my point is, uh, you know, Boise area, it's ruined, man, it's, uh, you know, I mean, if you're coming from Los Angeles or Seattle or Portland and go to Boise, you probably feel like you're out in the sticks a little bit, you know, and you can get out in the sticks pretty quick, but, dude, you guys are moving here and you're trying to change it, and you're doing a dang good job of it, I'll tell you that. It's, uh, it's sad, dude. It, uh, disgusting, man. Go up to, uh, you know, that one dude talking about Coeur d'Alene, man. He was a cop in L.A. or something. I don't know if he's a cop up there, but, uh, dude, Coeur d'Alene is insane, man. You know, that, uh, dude, it used to not be like that, man. Up there, uh. Northern Idaho, Spirit Lake, man, they are, they're piling in like uh, sardines up there over uh, Uncle Earl's, his place, the, uh, I think I already talked about this before, but I'll talk about it again, they um, ended up, somebody from out of state, I don't know what state, but out of state. Came in, got the property next to him, and his place sits, you know, I mean, did wood, you know. Man, if, if you went to Uncle Earl, well, if you look back at my videos, man, and we went up and seen Uncle Earl, man, you, stop, Kai. You, uh, go up there, and, dude, you felt like you were out in the, the woods. And when we went up to see him, you know, you feel like you're out in the woods, but... Man, you you drive by and you look down each road, you know, and there's places and they're pretty they're pretty dang close, man. I don't know. He's probably got I don't know, five or ten acres maybe, five acres, I don't I can't even remember. But anyway, the people next to him came from somewhere else and dude they uh basically clear cut the lot, you know, that joins his land or adjacent to his land and now from his uh his property you look out used to look out you know and you'd see wood or it looked like woods you know really there there was still a place over there but now that they've cut it all that place just sits out in plain plain sight man so uncle girls you don't feel like you're out in the boonies and stuff anymore you know and that's uh and then he was telling me this last time that somebody got in the place on the other side of him and basically did the same thing. You know, cut all the trees down. So so you, you buy a, a wooded lot or whatever and then you make it so it's not wooded no more. I just I don't understand that. 
You know, dude, I, man, nothing against any, any of y'all that are, uh, that have came, but, uh, I'm sorry there, man. There's just too many of you. There ain't a damn thing I can do about it. You know, man, I'm just a, just an old hillbilly that, you know, my place is kind of situated in between. <laughs> you know, I'm kind of in between it all, but the, the overflow is starting to, uh, it's starting to invade here real bad, dude, in the last uh, last four or five years, you know, since the pandemic. You know? Man, I used to I used to be able to go out on my property and you know could see at the end of my end of my place here and I could see, you know, one, two, maybe three three uh houses, you know, at a distance, and um, now I can go out there, and I'm at last count, I was, you know, 15 or something, 16 places, man, and they're getting closer, man, now, now they're just, they just broke ground on one that's just, uh, you know, I could dang near spit over to it, like I said, man. Man, if you don't like my opinion, I don't care. <laughs> you know, man, for for an Idaho boy that's been here and, and has known that Idaho is the greatest place on earth, and have known that always my whole life, you know, and like I said, for generations and generations, you know, my blood's been here since uh, the first man, so it's kind of a, kind of a bummer and sad thing if you ask me. Sad, sad state of affairs, man. Ain't nothing I can do about it. And I don't really blame those people. But, and hopefully, man, the politics and all of that crap don't change. But, uh, it's dang, man, you can just listen. It's just, humans are taking over, man. And beyond. One good thing about Idaho is, uh, I can't remember what it is, man, what percentage it is, but it's a lot of federal state and, you know, federal state land, so it's not all private, so you can still kind of get away. And thank God that uh, I've been here a long time, and I know I keep those places private, but I know uh, places to go that them humans, they ain't found it yet. Good Lord willing, them creeks don't rise. We'll be back again tomorrow. There you go.